For me, my Royal Opera debut, of course, is a very important event. So I'm really happy to have been able to choose an opera that I feel very, that has a very special place in my heart for this, which is Tchaikovsky's uh, Eugene Onegin. I've loved Eugene Onegin since I was a teenager. I even chose to study Russian in high school just to be able to read Pushkin's novel in the original uh, language. Unlike so many other operas, Onegin is special in that it's not about kings and princes or uh, faraway kingdoms or, or magic and gods. It's about real people. It's about something with which we can all identify and that for me always gave Onegin a very special, fragile yet passionate quality. And that's what I hopefully want to bring out in the production. We thought it was very important to respect that Tchaikovsky didn't want this to be a grand opera. It's not a piece that you can overinterpret or put very heavy intellectual ideas onto. It needs to have a very direct emotional communication with the audience. And if I can't make the audience cry, if I can't make the audience be in love again, then I've somehow failed. It's a great opportunity for me to work with the conductor, Robin Ticciati, for the first time. He very much wants to cut through all the cliches that maybe surround this piece and Tchaikovsky's music and find the simple story inside it. The detailed acting is really what you need for this. And so the set designer Mia Steensko, she has created a space that for much of the action will force the singers very far forward in the face of the audience so we can't hide in a way. When you do a piece that you really love, it's almost uh, sometimes harder than when you do a piece that you find tricky. With the tricky pieces, you sometimes get more courageous. With the really good pieces, you, it's, it's, it's more delicate. But I, I really look forward to, to getting a chance to direct this wonderful opera. <laughs>